Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am doing a makeup artist Amazon favorites. In this video, I want to share with you some of my most favorite things that I've ordered for, from Amazon and that I use as a makeup artist. So some of the things that I'm always repurchasing or some of the things that I really recommend you grabbing if you are a working makeup artist or just starting out. I will be including photos of the items that I'm mentioning in this video. A lot of the things are in my studio or packed away in my car, so I don't have them physically but I think this video is going to be very helpful for so many of you so if you are interested then let's get started first is this makeup brush holder now every time I post a story on my Instagram I always get DMs asking where did you get this brush holder like where can I buy it so this was actually out of stock for a very 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 long time I had one for two years now and it's still holding up pretty well and I actually tried buying the my kit co like brush holder to carry with me for work and honestly it's just too many things to carry because you have I have two bags that I'm carrying then a chair and then plus that you know brush holder that my Kitco sells and I just find these specific brush holders better like they just clip on the sides because you can just throw them in like one of your second bags and once you undo them I just kind of set it on the table when I'm setting up and I will have my clean brushes in one and then my dirty brushes usually go in the second one now as soon as I saw that it was back in stock and on prime I ordered a second one I completely got rid of my Kitco uh, brush holder and I only use those two now and like I said I just set them up like like this and then I have my two empty ones where I put all the dirty brushes in and I just throw them in my bag and you're good to go because I have a bag now and then a second bag and that's it it's so easy it's so helpful they're great quality they last quite some time so I highly highly recommend checking those out okay next is a weird one but these specific cotton rounds I like them because they don't have those like fuzzies when you are removing makeup off of or like a lip balm off of the client's lips or if you're prepping the skin with like toner uh, or micellar water it never leaves fuzzies on the skin which is like literally my biggest pet peeve and those are the only cotton rounds I buy because you get like a pack of three for like a decent price so I always stock up on those and I actually have them right here literally they are the best I'm pretty sure I have one open let me show you guys so they're just like a nice and clean cotton round no fuzzies whatsoever the best next are these powder puffs now I have one here to show you guys such a good price for these this is what it looks like you get 12 in one set and then I kind of put my finger in here like this and this is how I would um, set under eyes or if somebody has like texture or pores or anything like that these are a great tool to have to kind of set the face and also if you already finished the face and you need to touch up the eyes or if you do the face first you can put it on your pinky I kind of like wrap it around like a couple times like this so that way when you are like leaning on someone's face you're not touching them with your finger you're just like working with this hand and just leaning with this uh, powder puff so these are really really great I have a couple for myself too I just set my under eyes with these some days if I want like an extra flawless look but I highly recommend grabbing these and after I'll just gift them to the clients um, and you can also re-wash these uh, with soap and water so good okay so for the longest time I have been using the Revel Extra Large bag and that's been working great for me. I hate like those rolly suitcases and unpacking everything because like think about it when you're going to a job and you have like one of those rolly things you have to literally take everything out. You need extra table space for everything which you don't oftentimes have in hotel rooms when you're doing a wedding. So the Revel bag has been absolutely great. However, it was not a very comfortable like backpack situation and I've just been having like back problems because of how heavy everything is when you carry it. So I decided to grab the makeup backpack. Again, it is also from Revel, but it is an actual leg like, backpack. And I just recently, last week, switched everything over from the Revel Extra Large to the backpack. I will say it is a lot smaller and deeper but I've managed to like make it work. I took out all of the dividers and put in my own and it's been working great for me. So if you are concerned with like back problems or just don't want to carry like too much stuff, I highly recommend grabbing the backpack version just because it is easier to carry. Next are my favorite strip lashes. If you know me, you know I am not a huge fan of strip lashes at all. I always do individuals for the majority of my clients. However, I did find 
finally strip lashes that I absolutely love and they are the Naked Ardell Lashes in the style 421. If you're a working makeup artist, you most likely know about these. I feel like everybody uses them, but this is what they look like. I will, however, say they are not uh, very consistent. Like sometimes, like these for example look like this, the next pack I get is like extra fluffy or like too thick or too long. Like they're not very like consistent like style wise. But I find that these are the best because of how thin the band is and they wear so comfortably, they stick on so well. My clients always say like I don't feel them at all and they just look beautiful and flattering on almost any eye shape. Next are makeup sponges. I don't often use beauty blenders but I do buy these packs of the AOA makeup sponges. So you get six beauty blenders. They are the softest beauty blenders I've ever felt. However, you can't really wash them and reuse them. I don't really recommend that especially with these because you know you can tell but the quality it's a little bit different but I still think they work beautiful sometimes you just need a beauty blender when you're working so I highly recommend grabbing these because the price is great and after you can just gift them to your clients and they can reuse them on themselves if they want to but these are great you know so you're not spending a lot of money on like other beauty blenders which cost like maybe like five eight to ten to fifteen to twenty dollars a piece next is this incredible thing so this is is a sticky tape that goes on your hand when you are working it's kind of like a makeup hand palette basically you get 50 of these clear little tapes you literally I'll tape it on my the back of my hand like right here then you peel it off and then you have this like thin film of little tape and you can use this as a makeup palette so if you're applying like lipstick or concealer or whatever it is you can actually put the product onto your hand onto that film and palette and use it from here to onto the client's face. It's more sanitary that way. You're not getting your hand all stained from client to client. Obviously that's not very sanitary at all, but these are great. I had just started using them just a few months back because I saw my assistant use them and I was like, wow, these are genius. So obviously you have your handheld palette, but then these are um, very convenient because if you're working like doing like eyeliner, like gel liner, for example, I just have it on my hand and I like pick it up from the palette and then do the eye because it's just like right here very convenient if you don't have these yet you need to get them they will literally change your life okay so next are these mini little lipstick lip gloss containers that you can give to your clients and give them lip product to touch up with so you literally get 50 of these in one order it looks like this like a little container when you are done applying the client's lip color, you know, you want to give them a little bit to touch up with later. So it's great because, again, you can use your, you know, regular power palette or your hand palette and you just mix up the color. You pick it up, like, you know, quite a bit. And then you just put it gently inside and that way they have their little mini go-to lipstick that they can touch up with later. I think this is genius. I just started doing this and I highly suggest um, picking these up because it's just so smart and it's a good price and you get quite a few of them. Next is what I wash my makeup brushes with. This is the Zoti, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, bar of soap that you can use to wash your brushes with. So I saw this from another makeup artist on Instagram actually like a while back. She was raving about it and I actually picked it up on Amazon and started using it myself and it has been so great. It's basically like a pink bar of soap. You swirl the brush in there and then you swirl it onto something else and you know when you wash it with water and it really does a great job of taking out um, powders and cream products. Not always does it take out like all the foundation from a brush because you know sometimes you still get that like stain so what I do is I use just like a spray uh, cinema secrets brush cleaner and then I'll go in with that and then it gets out and then it gets it out completely so I highly recommend using that I find that it is better than like using dish soap or something like that next I have something I cannot live without and that is my disposable little trash can it's literally like a mini collapsible trash can that you can carry with you it collapses completely flat so you can put it in your bag so when you get to your destination and you're setting up you just pop it right up and then it's you know it's like a very small size but enough for 
like your disposables and your cotton rounds and stuff like that and I also buy the dog like poop bags and I just put those inside of the trash can and it works great that way you don't have to always look for a trash can and have like a build up of trash on your table when you're working that's been really saving my life I've been using it for years so if you haven't yet tried it definitely pick it up and I'm gonna link obviously everything down below you guys but I also just got an Amazon storefront so I'm gonna slowly build up the categories of everything that I use and have been using so that way if you're looking for something you can just go through that and um, see and find what it is that you're looking for okay the next thing I have are my favorite ever individual lashes these lashes I absolutely swear by and I use these all the time on all of my clients mostly brides and I showed how I use these in my makeup masterclass when I did this when I did the class back in May but I prefer these individual lashes better than any other individual lash I've ever tried because they are flat on the bottom so when you apply it it is a lot easier and it's easier to build like a straight line and you can totally control the look you're getting I actually have them right here the lashes now these are the 13 millimeter lengths so you can see exactly what they look like so you get all of these clusters and they are like a C curl I would say not too too curly and you can see they are flat on the bottom so they're very very easy um, to put on the eyes so I'll usually pick up like eight millimeters nine no I don't pick up eight I'm sorry I pick up nine ten eleven twelve 13 and some 14s I rarely use 14s but those are usually the the links that I pick up and that way you have full control of creating like a cat eye or an open eye or whatever it is that you want because like I said they're individual so I like using those a lot a little bit more time consuming but with practice you can do it pretty quick beautiful quality they have them on Amazon great price highly recommend and last but not least I have one of my favorite brush cleaners and that is the cinema secrets brush cleaner I get mine on Amazon on camera ready cosmetics on namies I go between this one and the beauty so clean one I love both so much but I get the big bottles usually and then I just like refill the little ones it's just better money wise that way but yeah this stuff gets everything out of your brush just in fact it cleans it makes it soft smells good and whenever I wash my brushes like I said usually the foundation one I'll go in with this first and then I will wash them with the soap and it gets everything out and it's so good all right you guys so that is it I do plan on doing part two of this video because I have a lot more to share with you but I hope you enjoyed this kind of video I hope you found some helpful things and new things for you to try thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye guys